Allah has told us to ask Allah in, you know, in secrecy. In fact, if you want to up the game, make dua for your Muslim brother behind his back or your Muslim sister behind her back. It's a hadith in Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2733, where the, where the Prophet has told us, Da'watul Muslim, the dua of a Muslim, li'akhihi, for his brother, talking to the men, he said that, but obviously it applies to the women as well, talking to your sisters. Bi'zahril ghayb, behind their back, is something which will be accepted. In fact, in one hadith, he says that there's an angel right beside you. Every time you make dua for your brother behind his back, the angel says, Ameen, Ameen. I mean, I mean, Allah give you this, give you the same. Do, do, do you guys see that? But you're not supposed to then say, go to your brother and say, bro, I made this dua for you. I made this dua for you. Don't advertise it. Make it secret. I don't know if you heard that, that, that joke or not. There was a guy at iftar time, he would say, he put his hands up. Put his hands up in iftar time, yeah? You know, iftar time, duas get accepted, yeah? And he's making dua for his brother behind his back. He's making dua for his brother behind his back. He's in the kitchen, his wife's, you know, just making something, you know, in the kitchen, he's there making dua. I said, oh Allah, oh Allah, give my brother, my, my so-and-so Muslim brother, give him another wife, give him another wife, oh Allah, give him another wife. Next thing he knows that his wife takes the rolling pin and goes, Parash! And he goes, what have you done? Why did, why did this hit me? She goes, I know what you're up to. The angels are right next to you saying, Ami, may Allah give you the same. I know what you're up to. May Allah give you the same. So guys, be, be careful with the du'as that you make here. Yeah? Rolling pins are about, okay? Love.